This video is sponsored by Deep Motion. In the streaming area we live in, you're probably wondering how to capture your body motion with a 3D version of yourself to go online. You can do that easily with Deep Motion's Animate 3D, which is the leading solution for AI marketless motion capture. If you're new to the channel, my name is Pierre Schiller. I am a 3D animator and VFX compositor with over 20 years of experience in commercial advertising, cinema VFX, video games, and AR. In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to bring 3D motion captured characters into Blender. Hey, there is a lot of ground to cover, so let's start. First, you need to create an account on ReadyPlayer.me, then you can upload a selfie picture or not to start customizing your model, which is fully compatible with different online communities. You can then connect your avatar with Deep Motion. Any edits in Deep Motion will be reflected on Ready Player Me. You can also upload your own 3D models for full or half body captures. Deep Motion can track facial and body motion just by uploading a video. The resulting GLD motion capture file is compatible with any 3D software. We'll use Blender for this video, which is a full 3D open source software suit to create and edit animation for internet ads, virtual reality, streaming movies, video games, and much more. To start, visit ReadyPlayer.me. Create an account and log in. Select full body avatar and the body type. You can upload your picture, and your avatar will be created using that picture reference. Now you can further customize your avatar. Click next to go to the hub. Click on my avatars to see the number of avatars you've created. Scroll down, discover apps until you find Animate 3D by Deep Motion to connect your avatar. It is important that you also have a Deep Motion account created first. If you have one, click on Connect Avatar. And then select the avatar you're interested in connecting with the application. Then click Next. And you'll see the Avatar Connected message confirmation. Now click on Get App to connect to Deep Motion's website. You can then sign up for a new account or sign in if you already have one. Click on Animate 3D Cloud. From there, you can click on 3D Models. Right now, we are creating a character, so if you click this button, then the Ready Player Me connection will be available. Let me further customize my avatar like this. Click Next. I will name this avatar, and then we will get to the new character created message. This is perfect! Now I am going to create a new animation. I need to drag and drop a video file, so I'm going to select this one. These foot locking modes allow you to remove foot gliding and fine tune the ground contact model of the feet or completely disconnect contact for motions like swimming. So I am going to click create animation and then start job. From there, Deep Motion is going to calculate the movement and guess what? Check this out, it is just perfect. Look at this, this is marvelous. In just few clicks, we have created this amazing character with the motion capture applied. Now we are going to download the GLB file, and from there, if you click Library, you'll get access to that video, and also the preview. So this is what we have. Now, let's do a facial tracking. This AI site generates faces when you click Refresh. Save the picture. I'm going to go back to Deep Motion's website, and then I will click on Create Character. Then, Create Avatar from this button, and then you will create a new avatar on Ready Player Me, which is going to be a feminine full body avatar. Upload a picture that we got earlier, and now let's configure her outfit. With this icon right here, you can change her hairstyle. And with this other icon over here, you can change the hair color. Fantastic, let's give her some eyewear, and I think this will work just fine. We're going to click Next, give your character a name, click on Save, and a new custom character has been created. Now I have two out of three possible characters. Let's create a facial animation with this character. I need to drag and drop a video file. I tested two different facial expressions, but I guess this one worked better in the end. So I am going to use that, and the important thing here is that you can activate the face tracking option. Then click Create Animation. From there, 
click on start job and then deep motion is going to calculate the facial animation for the character our orders have been dispatched by the factory robot and look at that it's just perfect i'm going to download that animation again as a glb and then i will be placing it onto my animation folder now let's upload a custom character in blender name your bones to set up a gltf shader please read this document and apply the textures in your materials like this in the material properties show back face must be unchecked your mesh should be also a single mesh make sure your armature and your mesh have applied transformations using ctrl a i will select my character and the armature go to file export gltf and I'm going to target my directory, click on selected objects, and then export the GLTF. On Deep Motion, click here to upload a character. I'm going to navigate to my directory, and then I'm going to click Open. Once I do that, I will click on Upload. You'll see a message confirmation when your character is ready. Now I have three out of three characters. I'm going to click create animation and browse a file. I'm going to select this video, which is a walking video. Again, make sure that foot locking is set to auto and click create animation. And as you can see, I created one, two, and three different videos with different animations and they all worked out. So I am going to download all of those animations into a dedicated animation folder that I have. In the library, you'll see a list of all of the clips. Now this is the final result when you bring all of your characters into Blender. In the upper right, you'll see the camera animation. In the lower left, you'll see the different motion capture actions applied to the robot and the other characters using the NLA editor. And to show you how it's done, let me recommend some of the things that you need to take care of first before getting into importing your characters. When you open Blender, the first thing you'll need to do is to adjust the units to set the metrics to 0.1. From there, you can go to File, Import GLB, and let's bring the first avatar that we created. We need to target this one, and everything is set as default. Import the GLTF, and this is the normal expected size. If you forget to do the 0.1 on the measures, you're going to get bigger bones, and that's going to be messy to work with. Anyways, let's go back here, select all of the empties, and delete them. Now, select the armature, go to the viewport display and then click in front. From there, we are going to open an NLA editor window so that you can see that all of your motion capture data is there. I'm going to play back the timeline and as you can see, the result is perfect. What happens if you want to edit the animation? Well, you go to post mode, then switch to a graph editor window. Click A to select all of the bones and from there, you have different tools to enhance the performance of the motion capture. For example, you can decimate ratio on the keyframe. Left click once to select it and move your mouse left or right. You're going to see the percentage of the keyframes being deleted. Left click again to confirm. There's also another useful option for smoothing keyframes with Alt O. I can also select this curve and apply decimate with allowed change. And what you want to do here is to type the value, but instead of pressing enter, you will press tab. That way, you're going to get into the input number without leaving the input number box. Another very useful tool is the Simplified Curves add-on. Once you activate it, you can go to the Graph Editor window, press F3, search for Simplified F Curves, and once again, you can set the error threshold to some lower number. Smoothing curves is important so that you don't get twitching animations. You can also bring multiple animations for the same character like this. If you have your clip already animated, you can download it into the GLB file. Save it into a file location of your preference. Go back to Blender, File, Import, GLTF, target that model with the animation that you're interested, delete all of these empties, you don't need them, Select your model, go to post mode, select all of your bones, and here in the action editor, you can change the name. From there, you need to activate this little shield icon that you see here to internally store this animation. This will put an F right beside the name. Delete this imported GLB model, and let's make visible our previous robot, the one that we had. So from the action editor, you can 
open here all of your actions, you will see an F identifying the saved action. Then you can click here on this button to push it down into an NLA clip. From there, you can load any other action and repeat the same process. And again, you can push it back into the NLA editor. With this button, it's converted to a clip. Now let's rename this track. And from there, you can create clip transitions, looping cycles, and do other interesting things. But I will be publishing more details about that in a future video. Throughout this project, I was impressed with the Arcade 52 Blend Shape Facial Expressions from the characters. If your character contains all of the Arcade expressions correctly named, Deep Motion will track your facial video and transfer the animation to your custom 3D character. And yes, there's a free basic plan that you can use for short videos and up to 3 characters. You can increase your animations and video time as you expand with your different plans. Deep Motion gets ahead of the curve with their AI motion detection technology for 3D characters using video. Open your free account today and give your animations Deep Motion.